Hey my pretties, welcome back. So today I have a Target haul for you guys. Now, it is a collective haul. I had two hauls to share with you guys. So I had a little bit of Target and then I have some other stuff and I started to do it all in one video but I'm thinking to myself that's gonna be entirely too long of a video. <laughs> So this video is just going to be, if I'm not mistaken, it might be one or two pieces of something else thrown in here. Yeah, I think I have one thing from Walmart, but everything else is going to be from Target. It's not too big of a haul, but of course I wanna share with you guys what I have been picking up. So the first thing that I picked up was this little football uh, snack bowl. And I told you guys, if you watched that video, that I was going to pick this up for Pooh Bear, so I did, and this was $3. Also from the dollar spot, I did pick up these cute little ghost tumblers. They were $3, and I just thought they were too cute to pass up, so I got two of those. So there were two bags at the dollar spot that I decided to pick up. This one I chose so that when he has his Halloween party at school, you know how you send the kids with the candies and stuff so they can pass them out to their friends. I'm going to let him use this bag to pass out his treats and then this bag he'll use to bring home all the treats that he gets. <laughs> and he also can use this when he goes trick or treating if he wants. I just like the little clear ghost right there. So these were again at the dollar spot and they were $3. You know I couldn't pass up a couple pillows at the dollar spot. I like this Sherpa pumpkin. I think it's really nice. And so it was five and I just, I just like it. I like that one. And of course I showed you guys the turkey. <laughs> I got the turkey as well. And I like the colors on this one with the pink and the green and that's what the back looks like. So the cute little turkey and the pumpkin pillow. And you know I couldn't forget some ghost <laughs> at the dollar spot. I did get the dog ghost pillow and my daughter already has dibs on this. And then I just chose this one right here to go in Pooh Bear's room as if we don't already have enough pillows, but that's the plan on this one and on this one. And of course, I couldn't leave myself out. I needed me a ghost pillow too. And you guys know my color is like green, mainly, mainly green, not, not everything, but I do like the pops of green in my decor when it comes to Halloween. So I did get the green ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I like his little eyes and the bottom. They remind me, these ghosts remind me of the Pac-Man ghost. So I like how they did the little swoop at the bottom. This one I had to order. Couldn't find him in the store, not the white one. Um, I've seen the other colors, but this one I had to order. So he just came. And so I got the two for me. And speaking of ghosts, I did get the little terracotta ghost like this. I had my eyes on the other one. You know, the other one that the, it looks like the sheet is kind of pushed out, like the hands are out. Could not get my hands on that one online or in the store. Um, I checked on, I checked in my local store. They said they had three or four on hand. I went to the store. They were not there. So I did get this one. I can't remember exactly where somebody said these were a dupe for. Oh, is it Pottery Barn? Anthropology? One of them stores. I heard that these were a dupe. And I think it's not bad for $10. I like the terracotta look. That's what the bottom looks like. So cute little guy. I like his mouth too. Okay, the next two items are these cute little felt Target baskets that I ordered online. Little sad that one of them came messed up and I haven't seen them in the store. So I'm trying to decide if I want to exchange it or return it but it's the cute target pills i thought that was nice so what i see people doing i guess with these are filling that well not yet they haven't done it yet but they're saying that they're going to fill it with candy sit it on the porch and let the kids uh get the candy or use it as a candy basket for their child or whatever whatever you want to use this for it's cute <laughs> i got two of them so what I was meaning by this is when I ordered it online and it came, they just kind of like stuck it in the box, kind of messed it up. So as you can see, that is kind of messed up. I have already tried to push it out and, you know, I had some stuff in here trying to, you know, push it so it can get its form back. But no matter what I do, it just goes back like that. These were 15. So this one will probably, I don't know, I'm probably just going to return that one because I'm not happy with the way that one looks. And if those weren't doing too much when it comes to Target, they had a whole costume. A costume. <laughs> Look at this. 
So you can dress up as a Target basket. All you need is the white shirt, some khaki color pants, and then you'll have this. It has the straps like suspenders that go over your shoulders and then it wear, you wear it around your body. So it looks like that. And I thought this would be fun to attend a Halloween party dressed up as a Target basket. I do have the Bullseye Playground dog. You remember when the dogs came out? I was telling my daughter, I said, well, if I wear this to a party, maybe I'll carry the Bullseye dog with me as well and do the whole little, you know, thing. We'll see though. I'm not too sure. I think this one was, yeah, it was $35. It says kids and adults. So that is a costume. That is what it is. And it comes with the little thing, the little plastic thing to help get it shape. Right now it's just flat, but $35. The downy. The downy toasted vanilla smells so good. So good. This was $15.99. So I did get the big one. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this one a lot. Um, I hate when the seasonal limited edition stuff comes out and then you really just really like it. You need to stock up if you love it because once it goes away, it goes away. Speaking of goes away, like my hot buttery rum coffee. So you guys already know how many times I've ranted and raved about this coffee, well this flavor. And this is my first box that I picked up this season. I will be picking up more. Um, I usually stock up my pantry with these before the holidays are over um, so that I can keep them throughout the year until they come back. But they are back. A lot of you guys have left comments saying that you've been picking them up as well and you like it. So this is one of my favorite. And I got, I got turned on to this flavor when there was one something remotely close to this one that was at... Um, world market and then they stopped selling it so when i was looking for it i was on the hunt they kept saying we don't have it we don't have it so then i went and i found this one and it was i know the one at world market was something to do with rum but this is my next best thing to that one so this is my favorite pick this up finally now i've never really been into or wanted to try those little uh, hot drink bombs, the ones that you drop in like the milk or I think that's what you do with these uh, or make it into the hot cocoa and all of that. I usually pick up these things for the kids, but it's just not my thing. But this one was too interesting not to pick up. I might try it. I don't know. Maybe I'll let the kids try it and then I'll sip it and taste it. But it's hot drink bombs in pumpkin and pecan pie. Why does that look like a little uh, pot pie, like a chicken pot pie? And then you got that one with the pecan. It looks like pecans all over the top. So pumpkin and pecan pie hot drink bombs. It says with mini marshmallows and cocoa mix. The way they have that sitting there right there, that just looks like a pot pie, like the top of a pot pie. Those are kind of cool. Okay, so that's going to be an experiment. This Incredible Hulk cup I did pick up for Pooh Bear. I did. I, I love me some Incredible Hulk, but I'm like, let me get my baby his own little mug. Um, even though usually he drinks out of tumblers with the straws and stuff. But I got him this because why not? And it says, what costume? And I love the green and the purple handle on that. This was, were these five? I think these were $5. So I got him that. Uh, we're almost done. And then in the Halloween section, during my walkthrough, I showed you guys these tumblers beetlejuice and hello kitty how many of you guys saw the beetlejuice movie Be I, or should i say beetlejuice beetlejuice how many of you guys seen the movie you guys knew i was waiting for that movie to come out i was waiting and i loved it i usually don't love the second movie as much as the first um but in some in some cases I, I do. I'm not going to say I love Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice more than the original, but it was just as good. Just like I love the second Willy Wonka, just like I like the first one. <laughs> Anyways, how many of you guys saw Beetlejuice? So I did get these. They were $10 and that was the Hello Kitty and the Be uh, Beetlejuice. And then um, I got the Tree Hut Pumpkin Pop Foam Gel Wash and it has pumpkin seed oil and apple cider vinegar it smells really good. I like the smell of it and I usually do not pick up things that are like 
pumpkin spice and pumpkin this and pumpkin that um but it smells really good and then i also got the body butter to go with it and it is whipped it's really pump it's not even a word pumpkiny it's really pumpkiny and you do get the cinnamon in there so these are really nice i like those and then last but not least so we can be done with this haul i have the color pop haunted mansion lip glosses i picked up three i showed you guys in the store if you watched that video i told you i was going to pick up three so i chose to get summon spirits what's the other ones graveyard shift and hitch a ride those three colors right there i'm super excited by this one right here i have not swatched it have not looked at the color so i wanted to do that with you guys so let me see let's get these open and i will swatch them so we can see Ooh, that is so pretty look at that i like that purple it's like a clear purple Ooh, i can't wait to swatch that Hopefully it has some kind of color payout. I hope it's not just like a clear gloss with a little bit of purple. It just says ultra. Okay. So this one says ultra matte lip. The summon spirits. The uh, purple one says ultra glossy lip. So yeah, it's probably just going to be gloss. This one is a matte color. And then the third one is going to be an ultra matte lip as well. So the deeper colors are like matte lipsticks. That's the three colors. So let's see. Okay, yeah. So the gloss is not showing up anything. It's purple in the container, but as you can see, it's really nothing there. Maybe once I put it on, maybe with like a burgundy lip liner and then put that on, maybe I'll see a tint, a little bit of purple. But as of right now, I don't really see anything. This one is Hitch a Ride right here. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty and it's a deep, deep purple. That looks like something that I have from MAC already. Right here. It's like a burgundy purple. You can see the, the, the purple underneath it more in person than probably what the camera is picking up. But it's definitely a burgundy purple. Oh my goodness. I'll get a little closer in just a second. And then this one, Summon Spirits. What I don't like is when I pull the wand out, it's coming out kind of clumpy. So I already don't like that. Okay, and this one is a deep burgundy with more like brown undertones in this one. So let me show you. So that's what you get right there. See how I was saying that one is more burgundy. But in person, I can see the purple, a little bit of purple under there, not too much. And then this one is like a... Now it's drying down, it just looks brown. So those are the three and as you can see, you can see a little bit of purple in there with the way the light hits it, the gloss. So, but I'm going to say these two right here will be pretty in the fall with a lip liner or whatnot. Um, I don't usually tend to grab lipsticks and stuff. I'm a lip gloss girl. I will wear these. I absolutely love ColourPop. Um, when I'm not purchasing my lip glasses and stuff from MAC, my next go-to really for, for like lip glosses and lippies is ColourPop. I really like their stuff. Um, yeah. So that is going to be it for this haul, you guys. So I thank you for watching. Make sure you stick around for more videos. And I'll see you all real soon in my next one. I'm sorry. I forgot how much these were. I think they were $10. If I could find them, you guys already know. I'll try to link stuff down below in the description box. Um, but yeah. Okay. Bye, you guys.